Hey everyone. Hi. So I guess we are live now. Uh, thanks for coming. So hi everyone. So we are with hey, uh, Marie. Hi. So with a uh, co-director of uh, Tinykin with me. So and I'm Roman. And uh, so the, the point of this uh, small session is to let you ask us questions about the game. Uh, and basically you can ask us uh, anything. And uh, I've seen that there is also some questions about um, giveaways. So yeah, we will uh, send some keys uh, in the chat uh, every... 20 minutes or so, so it's very important that you stay here in the chat and uh, actually the first one who will grab the key uh, will uh, get the game, so you'll have to be quick. Um, so Marie will play the game uh, while I'll be answering questions uh, and Marie can also uh, answer questions. Uh, so. Do not hesitate, guys. Uh, and maybe we can start with uh, with a new game. So it will be a quick yes. introduction to people Let's go who to an adventure. <laughs> doesn't know the game yet. Um, we have a question from yes. Lucas. He asks uh, if we if someone has a bug, uh, you can go to our Discord channel. You can find the link in on the Steam page. Oh, first question. Uh, also, one question. What are the team's plans for the future? Um, actually, it's a bit early to answer this uh, question. Uh, for sure, we will be working on some uh, updates for Tinykin. So, especially uh, bug fixing. So, you can expect uh, patches to fix some of the let's say, major issues that we have seen uh, popping on Discord and Steam. Uh, but yeah, we will uh, probably tell a bit later uh, this year what, what are the plans for Splash Team. For now, we are focusing on the release and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see about that uh, a bit later. Uh, what inspired the movement in Tinykin, such as the subboard and floating bubble? Question from Justice League. Um, actually, it's a mix of uh, multiple things. Uh, we have a lot of uh, games in our inspirations. Uh, basically, the, the, the platforming uh, <coughs> comes from uh, from games that we love, like uh, the Ratchet & Clank series, uh, Taikonauts, or even the 3D Mario games uh, that are the, the top notch of uh, 3D platformers. And the subboard is, uh, is an idea that came um, a bit later in the, um, in the process. Uh, the point was to give Milo um, a way to move faster and uh, and this feeling of sliding is something that we really loved in the in the team. So we decided to turn this into a, a piece of soap because considering Milo's size and all the 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 lore around the Milo's planet and the bubbles, uh, it is totally in the in the mood for for the game and. The thing like you know grinding on uh, on wires and this kind of mo of moves, uh, it's a bit uh, also inspired by games like uh, the Ratchet and Clank series when you can slide on rails uh, around the levels. So I hope this uh, answer the questions uh, the question somehow. Uh, by the way, Marie, if you see any questions, do not hesitate to. Yes, of course. <laughs> Tell. Uh, sorry, if, if I miss questions, I will just read the chat and uh, try to answer. Uh, so, question from Xylecast. Uh, Tanikin pays homage to different worlds and genres, right? I saw references to uh, 
E.T., the extraterrestrial, Gary from SpongeBob, Sly Cooper, and Lord of the Rings. Okay, that was not a question. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, yeah, you are kind of right about uh, your uh, statement. Um, do you plan to make Tiny King do 2 someday by Kayo Bano? <laughs> uh, I kind of answered that at the beginning of the stream. Uh, we don't know yet, but uh, I think this is something that would be great uh, in... Uh, in the future, but I can't tell much about uh, Any thoughts, Bryce the Slice, any thought of DLC or extra areas in the future? Um, good question. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, we are considering it, but uh, same, uh, the game just uh, released, so it's a little bit too early to talk about that. Uh, Zilarix is asking, are there any plans to incorporate a speedrun mode to the game for those speedrunners? Um, there is no specific plans about uh, speedrun modes within the game, but we are currently working on a community uh, speedrun contest, so you'll have uh, more information about that. There will be giveaways uh, too. And so, yeah, we, you, you, you learn about it on the social media very soon. But yes, we are planning uh, some community challenges. But in the game in itself, you won't have any particular mode related to speedrun. But we would like to encourage people to speedrun the game because the, the moveset of Milo is kind of, uh, um, I would say, uh, suitable for that kind of practice. Uh, Another question, who we need to congrats for making good references on the first of the game. Uh, I have to say also that uh, not only the French version uh, is uh, good, but uh, we also have other languages and each language we've tried to uh, find references in the different uh, cultures to make it as good as the French version. And so the, the, the writer uh, is called uh, Benoit Marquet. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, if you want to congratulate him, I think he is in the chat. Uh, it is Tol in the chat, T-O-L. Uh, I've seen a, a, a hello from him at the beginning, so maybe, maybe he can uh, uh, say something. I don't know if he's still uh, around. I think yes. Um, question from Ball, Ball Animations. Uh, which programming language did you guys use to make this game? Uh, this game is made with Unity. And uh, uh, so we are uh, developing in uh, like uh, most of uh, today's Unity games. Uh, another question from Victor Amper. Will you make unlockable characters or just my Milo? No, for now it is just Milo. Uh, and uh, there is no particular plans about uh, new playable characters. Uh, <laughs> Marie, do not hesitate if you. Uh, yes, if you uh, want I to saw add a question. Something. Uh, alors, I, I played the game, so I am not. Uh, <laughs> I try to focus yeah, yeah, on question, but uh, I saw a um, question from how to game differently um, about the level design and uh, uh, which room uh, is the best level design for us, I think. So, for me, um, I loved to play uh, on the bathroom because of the main quest. I don't know if you see some stream, but uh, the main quest is, is to set a huge party. And I like to party, so I think <laughs> this quest is... Uh... kind of spoiling the game a little bit for the people who <laughs> yes, doesn't know it. It's just yet. the setting. The setting. <laughs> uh, you need to discover how to set this, this uh, party. And I really like to, uh, to work on it. And for you, uh, Romain? I don't want to spoil the game. I, actually, <laughs> I think one of my favorite uh, stuff is uh, near the end of the game. Uh, so I won't tell much. And basically, I like 
all the levels because each one has a different mood. Um, for sure, we have common level design rules that you can see in each uh, in, in all the levels, basically. Um, it's a little bit hard for me uh, as a level design lead to really choose between one or another. And yeah, I don't want to spoil you the, the end of the game, so I let you discover that by, uh, by yourself. Um, there is a question from Thomas Randolph. Uh, oh no, just one before, uh, Xylarix. Uh, do you have any advice for those looking to get into the industry of game development? Um, make games. <laughs> uh, I think uh, one of the best uh, thing that we have uh, since, uh, let's say, maybe 15 years, uh, it is internet and especially the, um, the easy, uh, I'd say, uh, it's, it's very easy to find uh, development tools on the internet today. Uh, there is Unity, there is uh, Unreal Engine, but there is also other tools that you can try. Uh, and both are very accessible, uh, even for people who are not really into uh, programming or 3D experts or, and, and, and so on. So I think the best way, uh, if you are not in a game, uh, video game school or a programming school or anything that is specialized into uh, making games uh, the best way is to teach self to be to be self-taught and uh, try to once you have something uh, to try to show it to the world uh, to the maximum people you can uh, your friend share it on the internet uh, you can also attend game jams because uh, you will make a game in a very very short amount of time and in game jams, you can meet people who are way more experienced than you are, and so it's the it's a it's a good way to uh, get into the industry. I mean, I mean, not immediately being hired by a company, but but at least make contacts. If you see what I mean. So yeah, the the, the best way to to make games is, is to make game. Don't know um, if I'm clear, but uh, that's. Uh, that's what I think. Uh, it's not a question, but uh, I saw this comment a uh, lot of time. Uh, please include a pollen tracker in the game. <laughs> we know that some pollen are uh, hard to track, but um, we love to see uh, you uh, checking pollen and uh, just uh, searching for searching for hours and hours. <laughs> you are saying that you, you, you love seeing people struggling. <laughs> yes, in the team <laughs> we really love that. The, <laughs> the very last pollen in each level. Um, actually, we, we, we've, we've already thought uh, um, to include uh, uh, some kind of uh, tips uh, in the game. Uh, for example, for those who played uh, Psychonauts 2, there is this helmet that you can put on your head and when you get close to uh, hidden uh, things, hidden collectibles, there is some kind of sounds or things like that. So this is maybe something we could consider in a further yes. update. But basically, in a, let's say a collect ton type of game like Tinykin, uh, it's also interesting to search and we really want the player to talk to each other. Uh, so do not hesitate to join our Discord server and to ask other people for advice uh, unless you do it uh, by yourself uh, because uh, it depends on your challenge expectation. But uh, and, yeah. Um... You can say uh, thanks to Citis in uh, the chat. He's the level designer of the game and uh, he's the man who puts pollen in a, a hiding place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, also, there was this question uh, just after the advice, the question from 
Thomas Randolph. Uh, what made you decide to not have enemies that you fight in the game? Uh, that's a really good question, uh, actually, because um, uh, we won't... from yes. Uh, Sorry, what? Uh, we, we want the game to be pacific uh, at maximum, so uh, I think we don't want to to um, fight with a monster or whatever. We just want a uh, chilling adventure from Tainkin. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, so what, what I was about to say, it is um, maybe some of you already know, but um, this game uh, is coming from a Game Jam, game jam project uh, back in um, 2019. And initially it was a very peaceful game. Uh, and uh, we decided to keep this, uh, this mood. Uh, but we did have discussion about potential enemies, but in the end, we really wanted to stick with this uh, uh, peaceful uh, approach. And also having no threat uh, is really, really, how to say, pleasant, uh, because you are never really stressed uh, about dying and uh, retrying again and again the same situation so it does not mean that the game has no challenge because you don't necessarily need to die uh, to have a challenge but uh, we, we are really proud of that because there, there is not a lot of uh, peaceful action games most of the time in action games you you, you kill things <laughs> um Okay, there, there is a, a tricky question. Uh, someone is talking about input lag on, on Xbox. Um, so, yeah, uh, there might be some frame rate issues sometimes uh, on uh, the lowest devices like the PS4 and uh, Xbox One. Um, so, these are the things we will continue to work on because there will be probably patches. Uh, for the console, uh, somewhere between September and uh, October. Um, but we are aware of that, and uh, uh, as long as I don't prevent you from enjoying the game, that's okay, but, but we know that sometimes there is some uh, discomfort uh, when the frame rates get too low, or if there is a very slight uh, input lag. So, sorry for the inconvenience if you are, uh, uh, I would say, annoyed by, uh, by this. Um, I'm reading the chat. Is so question from, uh, I don't know, Q? No, no. Uh, no name, <laughs> apparently. Uh, is Tiny Kim your first game or there was other before? like what you've done to get there on Tiny Kim. Uh, yeah, uh, at Splash Team, we had a previous game called uh, Splasher. Uh, you can find it on Steam, uh, PS4, and Xbox and Switch uh, as well. So Splasher is a, is a 2D platformer, and uh, uh, it's kind of unique because uh, in this game, you play with uh, pants of different colors, and depending on the color, it gives the walls and ceilings and, and the ground uh, different properties. So you can stick to the walls, bounce, depending on the paint you are using. And so, yeah, I really, really encourage you to check out Splasher on Steam or any other platform. And uh, so, yeah, uh, as, as, a, as, a, as Splash Team, uh, Tinykin is our second game, but in the team, uh, the different team members uh, have worked on many other projects like uh, Rayman Legends, Rayman Origins, uh, like uh, uh, Fury from the, the Game Bakers, uh, Haven, uh, and so on. There is a we we have kind of a good track record 
uh, in the in the team. Uh, we got a question from Kayo. Uh, how does it feel to working with Tiny Build? Um, it's a real pleasure to work with Tiny Build. Uh, we really love to work with them, and uh, we want to work again with Tiny Build. <laughs> has been a pleasure and it is still a pleasure because yeah. our collaboration is not uh, finished absolutely <laughs> after that and yeah if you are a developer and looking for a publisher you definitely and if you have a good game you should <laughs> definitely uh, come to them um there is a question about uh, uh, tinykin and android so is tinykin available in android so on mobile uh, not for the moment. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> you will be told if that happens. Um, no. Uh, so, other question from. Uh, I know it's not a question. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um. There is a question about Steam Deck, but uh, um, Citis uh, answers this question. But uh, on Steam Deck, he, um, the the game works well, really great. Yeah, yeah. Um, several people told us that uh, on Steam Deck, they they got a solid uh, 60 FPS almost everywhere. So if you, if you you own a Steam Deck, uh, do not hesitate to try on the deck. Uh, I think you'll have a good time. Is the game for free? Not at all. Uh, you have a free demo though. Uh, if you go on the Steam page, you'll be able to download the demo and you also have a demo on switch and on uh, the xbox consoles uh, and also if you have the game pass you can get it uh, from free uh, on the game pass uh, i mean it's not free but you see what i mean uh, there is a question for you roman about uh, uh, switch port uh, porting so what it uh, challenging getting tinykin onto switch as I have heard that some devs had, uh, have had problems in the past. It's oh. a question for you. <laughs> I, would, I would like to find the question in the uh, chat. It's, just to make sure um, I understand. How to game differently? Okay, maybe maybe you can ask again your... Oh, sorry. Okay, I, I, I spotted the, the question. Um... Yeah, it, it was quite challenging, actually, because uh, initially Tinykin was um, not developed for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, it was in our intentions to port it on the, on the Switch. But uh, like most developers do, we are developing the game on uh, high-end PCs. So uh, our PCs are way closer to PS5 and Xbox Series uh, rather than Switch or for, for example uh, so it was quite a challenge because uh, we have big uh, levels uh, each room of the of the house is a, is a unity scene and we are so so we had to put in place a, a lot of uh, optimization tricks uh, to get the game running at uh, 30 ps on the on the switch uh, and but yeah it, it was quite a it was quite a journey, I, I must say. But in, in, in the end, we did it. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it's not a, an easy task for a, a big 3D game like Tinykin to make it uh, smooth on a, on, a, on a device like the, the Nintendo Switch. Uh, other question from Xylarix. I noticed that a few speedrun tricks from the demo where patch out in the full release was this done to fix bugs or to make sure the player couldn't skip cutscenes um, it is more to fix 
to fix bugs actually because uh, tell me if I'm wrong but I think you are uh, referring to the fact that some speedrunners were quitting the game to the main menu and then continuing that was faster than just waiting for the cutscene to, to finish um, uh, and yeah we did have uh, a few bugs uh, on the UI and with the sound and the couple of other things so we we've put some locks on different things uh, to avoid uh, some bugs yeah uh, but the thing with speed, speed running is that uh, if you find uh, tricks uh, that are just making you finish the game faster but uh, does not uh, really compromise the, the, the run. Uh, feel free to break the game <laughs> as much as you want. Uh, the most important thing for us is that the people who are playing the game, let's say normally, uh, don't have a broken game. This is important. But then if you break the game speedrunning it, uh, that's fine because that's also part of the speedrun experience, basically. Uh, oh, question from Justice League. Was there any other variations of Tinykin that didn't make it into the game? Uh, actually, uh, yeah, we, we, we had plenty of ideas, but uh, in the, the initial prototype uh, we presented to TinyBuild, there were four types of Tinykin and, and a, f uh, a fifth one. Uh, uh, arrived uh, a bit later. Uh, there will be new Tinykin in a, in a DLC, but uh, as for a sequel, I can't say much right now. Uh, other question from Exilecast. Why a soap as a skate? And why does the adventure is around the year of uh, uh, 1991? <laughs> Sorry, I'm bad at uh, spelling numbers in English. Uh, <laughs> is that a special year for any team member? Um, maybe, maybe both Marie and Toll, the writer within the chat, can, can answer uh, this question. Um, why this uh, date? <laughs> uh, we really love, uh, we um, are born uh, around this uh, area, so we want to, to show um, objects from our childhood, uh, like uh, the VHS, I don't know how to say in English, uh, VHS, yeah. yes. Uh, <laughs> the television, like you can see in the stream, because it's a cathodic television and uh, it's from our childhood. So we just choose this uh, uh, date for, for that, actually. <laughs> it's, some, it's, it's some kind of uh, nostalgia uh, trip. Yes. Kind of. Like uh, Tol said, it's uh, chosen for the aesthetic and from uh, idol <laughs> reason. Yeah, if, if you remember uh, t uh, 10 years ago or so, there, there were some kind of fashion for the 80s, but now we are more into the 90s fashion, and this is something that we like, so we decided to put it in the, in the, in the game. Oh, there is an, in <laughs> an interesting question. Why Tinykin looks so good that makes the viewers want to play? Um, actually, it's probably because we have a very good art director named Simon. Uh, he's a very talented uh, artist uh, who worked on games uh, like uh, Fury, uh, Aven. Uh, he worked also on the Invader Zim uh, movie, uh, which is on Netflix, uh, which is already on, uh, on Netflix. He's, uh, very talented concept artist and he, he also draw comics, uh, comic books. And uh, yeah, so thanks to him, we have this really, really good um, character design. 
uh, and uh, all of these very uh, warm and balanced uh, colors. Uh, it's it's totally up to to his uh, uh, vision in terms of uh, art. So I think that's why the game is so uh, appealing. And there is also this mix uh, between 2D and 3D. Uh, it is not something we see very often uh, in uh, video games, uh, especially for 3D platformers. I mean, there is examples uh, that exist, but they are not very... Um, there is not a lot of examples. And so this is immediately appealing, uh, the eyes. Some players like it, some others a bit less. But uh, at first glance, uh, it it really has the power to make you curious about what, what is this game. Um, about art, we got uh, talented concept artist named Jonas Sandberg who made uh, this cute tiny uh, house for insects like you, we can see uh, on the screen and um, we've got a talented technical artist uh, named Pierre Kiburst uh, it's why the lights are so good in this game and the uh, cheddars and uh, the, the carpet <laughs> I am uh, on it, and uh, we got two talented artists, Magali Lefort and Mélène Kenner, who did all the assets of the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find the, the, the links. Uh, uh, if you want some reference. Uh, we can, maybe we can share it on Discord after this uh, live. Yeah. I've put the link for Simon in the in the chat, but yeah, if you, if you join our Discord, we can we can share the references of our artists if you're interested. Uh, we have it's not a question, but uh, it's uh, really really cool to read that. Uh, basically, each time we read a very very positive comment, uh, we are so so thrilled uh, <laughs> about it yeah. because uh, when you work on a game for three years. Um, you are kind of uh, uh, underwater. You don't really know the, the the reception. Of course, we did the demo, so some people played the demo and kind of confirmed that the game was not bad. Uh, but now that the game is released, reading things like uh, um, "It's my game of the year," <laughs> <laughs> that's great, basically. It is very, very motivating, and most of the times, this is this kind of things that really, really encourage game developers to continue their career uh, instead of uh, quitting, because this job is really, really hard, and a lot of developers just just give up. Uh, but but we won't, <laughs> thanks to you. <laughs> yes. Uh, will there be will, will there ever be a movie or a show out of this? Um, that's uh, an interesting question <laughs> as well. Um, we really, really love to. Uh, and as you maybe noticed, there is already animated sequences uh, in the game. Uh, it has been made by a very talented studio in uh, Montpellier in France, the, the same town as, uh, as us, uh, called uh, L'Effet Special and animation studio worked on different movies and some um, short movies, adver advertisement, advertisement stuff and so on. And uh, yeah, when, when, when we see the, the universe that we created uh, and these really, really cool uh, characters, we, we would love to make them uh, live in a, in, in a TV show it would be great but this is something we need to discuss with tiny build and uh, there is no more information about that uh, for now thanks a lot for your kind comments <laughs> uh, by the way someone is saying whoever is playing so Marie is playing 
uh, the game in the background uh, is giving me anxiety by passing up all the items that can be grabbed. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Marie, Marie is kind of uh, speed running right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to But... show the other room of this game. <laughs> yeah, because I think most of the streamers on Twitch that you've seen just played the living room, which is the first level. But if you want to see more, maybe we'll see more uh, during this uh, mm. Q&A session. I am near the next room. <laughs> how did you... So Mrs. The Achievement Huntress is asking, how did you decide to go for different art artwork for Milo and the tiny kins and the backgrounds level design? It made the game stand out a lot. Um, actually, uh, um, it came from a technical constraint But when Simon uh, arrived in the in the project, so the art director, we decided to use this constraint, this constraint, and making uh, making it a strength. Uh, and initially, the constraint was uh, we don't have any uh, 3D animators uh, talented enough in the team to make good 3D animation. But we have very very talented 2D designers and animators in the team. So that was the technical constraint. Uh, and we decided to make it a strength. So we kept the 3D environment because we are making a 3D platformer. So it's better like this. But uh, since our animators, so Mari, Mari who is playing the game, is an, uh, an animator. And Simon, the art director, is also an animator. They are specialized into 2D animation. So Yeah, we decided to use this strength and make it a full part of the creative process. Uh, we got a question from uh, Zyla Rix. Who did the sound design and the soundtrack of the game? I am in love with both and I've already purchased the art book and the soundtrack. So for the sound design and the composition of music, it's uh, Alexis Logier. Uh, who worked before for Rayman uh, and uh, Road 96, for example. Yeah. Among other cool yeah. games, there is also this game called, uh, from Montpellier too, in France, called I Have a Nice Death. Uh, a roguelike uh, uh, was released uh, earlier this year. He did music for this game too. Uh, yeah, he's a. Uh, He's a very, very talented composer, and we don't manage to, uh, you know, to uh, put the melodies out of our heads <laughs> because we've played so many hours with uh, those music. And but, but we don't complain uh, because the musics are really, really great. Are you ready to see the the next level? Let's go. Of course, they are. <laughs> Uh, someone is saying, not a question, but thank you so much for bringing back the Pikmin game style bigger and better than Nintendo ever did. Um, maybe it's a bit exaggerated. Uh, I don't <laughs> no, know no, what no. Pikmin 4 <laughs> will look like, but our goal has never been to make Pikmin 4. I mean, Pikmin is an inspiration. Mm. Uh, it is part of our uh, inspirations, but um, it is more the mood of Pikmin who inspired us. So being small in a big environment, having armies of tiny little creatures that you can use to solve puzzles and various kind of situations. But uh, the comparison ends here uh, because it's not a management game. Uh, it's not a top-down view game. Uh, there is so much things that are different from Pikmin. So we are all waiting for Pikmin 4, uh, but if in your heart, uh, Tinykin is the Pikmin 4 you were expecting, great, that's awesome. <laughs> but it was not our uh, goal in the first place. Um, Zonkil is asking, I know this is too soon, But is there any plans for future DLCs or any future plans to expand Tinykin universe? Um, 
We kind of already answered that, but basically the answer is yes, there is plans, uh, especially for updates, uh, bug, fix bug fixing and, and content uh, DLCs, but uh, we can't tell much for now. And about extending the universe, we would really love to have things like animated series, but same, it's, uh, it's a bit too soon to, to confirm anything. <laughs> uh, we got a question from Zylaris, sorry for, <laughs> for this French uh, accent. Uh, the man is saying, you shall not pass, was that an intended Lord of the Ring reference? Um, Tol can answer the question, but I think the answer is yes. <laughs> you can safely say yes, I guess. <laughs> Oh, maybe it's, uh, I don't know, Spongebob reference, but I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, do the red ones dies when they explode? I, I think... like to... Uh... Yes, uh, they are safe. Don't worry about uh, red one. Is they, they really like to be uh, throw everywhere. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> when they explode... Uh, the dice. Oh! <laughs> you don't agree? Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't this, want to talk about that. This part <laughs> is a bit blurry because we prefer to let each player uh, make his own interpretation about that. Uh, why does this shallow water make you explode? It's just because the, the sweet of uh, Milo is not able to be in the water. <laughs> yeah. It's our yeah. explanation. But maybe yeah. Milo uh, doesn't know how to sw swim. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, actually, water is, is uh, something that is uh, uh, easy to to place in a, in a house without having to explain it uh, too, too much. But uh, yeah, as Mary said, Milo's suit uh, isn't really happy with uh, water contact. And uh, it, it helps us create uh, interesting challenges. Uh, it encourages the player to use the glider instead of just walking in a, in a straight line. So it's a very good platforming uh, uh, asset uh, for us. And, uh, and uh, we can have a lot of leaky stuff uh, in, uh, in, in a house like that, uh, especially a house that is uh, still stuck in time. So there is leaky aquariums, leaky, leaky sewers, leaky uh, sinks, and any kind of leaky stuff. So yeah, leaky toilets. And someone is saying, would have been really cool if you could surf on the water with the subboard. Uh, we thought about that. Uh, we thought about that, but since the subboard is something uh, is is uh, let's say uh, um, capacity you get right from the beginning of the game, it would not have been really interesting. But we could have designed it a different way. But uh, yeah, it's something you get at the beginning. It's. Uh, we decided to not keep this uh, this idea. How many total achievements? Uh, the question from Thomas Randolph. How many total achievements are in the game? Does it vary depending on the platform? Uh, no, uh, it's the same uh, amount of achievements on all the platforms. Uh, and even of the platforms with no um, achievements, like uh, with no achievement system, like the Nintendo Switch, uh, the game has an internal achievement system. So even on, on the Switch, you can uh, uh, unlock the achievements because uh, we decided to make the achievements part of the of the progression. So if you want to complete the game 100%, uh, even, of, of the, uh, even on the Nintendo Switch, uh, you will need to unlock the, the achievement. The, dif the difference with Steam and Xbox and 
platform that have achievement is that you also unlock the achievement on the platform but it is some kind of uh, mirror uh, actually uh, <laughs> and if this is not clear do not hesitate to ask for details why does the owner of the house have so much toilet paper um I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we can have explanation, but basically it's a level design thing. Uh, um, I maybe would... we can say, yes. Um, we developed Tinykin uh, during the lockdown and we are inspired by the lockdown. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that, but it is not the exact <laughs> explanation. Yes. So, yes. Yeah, maybe we can say that there were a lockdown in uh, 1991. And so <laughs> the owner of the house decided to make some, uh, I would say, um, uh, reserves of toilet paper. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, it, it's totally in the in the seam of the of the toilet. So um, yeah, it's it's a very interesting asset to create castles for very very tiny people. Um, reading the chat. Yeah, so some people are saying that uh, achievements, uh, there is achievements that are not uh, getting unlocked. Uh, so, so it depends on on the on the platform. But at least for Steam, we will have a very very quick. Uh, I mean, very very soon we will uh, have a look at that. Uh, because if you can't uh, get all the, the achievements, that's uh, that's bad. So this is part of the things we will we will have a look at, and we will try to patch this uh, as soon as you can. But like every bug can uh, mention, uh, the hardest thing for us is to reproduce the problem because most of the time the problems are very rare, and we are not always able to reproduce the issue on our own machine so that's why it, it will take time but uh, don't worry uh, we are listening we are reading on discord on steam on the social media so continue on uh, mentioning the problem you are um, seeing in the game and we will do our best to to fix it Uh, we got a question about Green Ladder Tinykin. Um, how are you stacking the Green Ladder Tinykin so fast? We got an input for that is uh, this input. I don't know what to say in English. <laughs> uh, this is the, the, the right trigger. Uh, this is the default control because maybe some of you didn't notice, but you can totally change the binding in the game settings, even on console. So for example, if you are playing on the Nintendo Switch, you can uh, choose your own binding uh, uh, to to play as you as you like. And uh, so the, the, the shoot button, uh, which is basically on the right trigger of the gamepad. So if you shoot without aiming, and if green Tinykin are in your team, uh, it will automatically create a ladder uh, uh, um, below Milo's feet. You can do it again, maybe. Yes. I do it a lot. <laughs> yeah, but do it do it one one more time. <laughs> yes, shortcut. Like that. Yeah. So so if you don't aim, you just hold the shoot button and it will create a, a ladder uh, at Milo's feet. And, and th there is a, 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 a tip. So you know these uh, these uh, uh, readme devices that are uh, on some uh, places with the the small headphones. So there is a tip uh, uh, telling about that in the um, in 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 Foliana. Uh, it is near the the entrance uh, near the cat uh, the cat flap. But yeah, a, a lot of people are actually. 
passing by and they, are, they don't notice the, the, the tip. So, yeah. Question, do you have mercs? I want stickers. Uh, we have internal uh, mercs, but we didn't uh, do the full public, uh, uh, I would say, uh, manufacturer for now. Uh, for example, we, we have these uh, small badges uh, from PAX. Uh, we attended uh, PAX uh, a few months ago. And so uh, it's not badges, it's uh, pins. Uh, Tiny Build were selling those uh, at PAX. I don't know if they are selling it online, online, but you can ask on the on Discord on, or, or the uh, social media about that. And we also have uh, I already <laughs> shown this one. Uh, anyway, we, we have uh, pins. Uh, we also have some uh, stickers, but it's only uh, for our internal uh, gifts for now. Uh, and we also have this. Uh, this mug, look at it, it's amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I can't tell if these uh, mercs will be uh, for sale uh, online or now, but uh, we are considering it. Will there our bot is asking, will there be any further elaboration on what happened after the game? Uh, basically, uh, it's a bit like talking about a sequel or future DLCs. Uh, we started to think about it, but we, we can't tell more uh, right now. Uh, other question from Xylarix. Are there any plans to work with the community like speedrunners, streamers, content creators to continue marketing the game or keeping an active community? Uh, yes. Then it, it depends on what you are talking about uh, exactly. But we've contacted a lot of streamers uh, in different countries to ask if there were uh, interested in, in uh, uh, streaming the game there is this uh, speedrun uh, community contest that is uh, about to arrive uh, very soon uh, and so you'll have more information about that on, on discord uh, and then yes there is uh, i think we will Uh, now that the game is released, uh, this is something we will certainly continue uh, on, on, uh, on doing. Uh, and it can be us, developers, and sometimes it is also uh, uh, the community managers at uh, TinyBuild uh, who are uh, really, really great at it. So um, they, we, we totally trust them. So don't be afraid to talk to a, a, a community manager uh, instead of us, uh, uh, they are really, really great as well. So yeah, th there is ac actually a lot of people uh, for, for that. So we will uh, we'll continue on, um, on working with uh, uh, community stuff. <laughs> Uh, will you guys do a Tiny Kin um, X Fall Guys collab or any collabs? <laughs> uh, we want to do a collaboration with Fall Guy, I think, but uh, it's not planned yet. You, you said we want to? You, we want, if, if we can, why not? I, I, I would say. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Great, actually, you know, playing Fall Guys in some My kind of... Shit. <laughs> oh, Tiny Kin. Tiny, tiny <laughs> Kin suit. Yeah, it yeah. could be great, but uh, th there is no plan. <laughs> no. But yeah, we, we will ask uh, uh, 
Epic Games. Right now, if we can do something. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, there is also questions in French, but I can... Uh, Trans um, there is a translation uh, just after. Oh, this. yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but we've already answered that a lot. Uh, the answer is yes, there is plans, but no no details for, for now. Uh, I think it's time to close this, uh, this live. You already want to wrap up? <laughs> it's time. Uh, yeah, so maybe we should do that. Um, I don't know if uh, maybe Tiny King. Uh, sorry, of Tiny Bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are very close to our publisher. Uh, maybe uh, if Tiny Bill have uh, uh, some last giveaway uh, to do, uh, it will be done very, very quickly. Uh, so, last question. Any plans for mod support? Um, not really. Uh, actually, Tinykin is um, is a solo linear platforming game. Uh, I mean, you have a lot of exploration, but it's not the kind of game that is really suited for uh, modding. Uh, you know, it's a bit like Ratchet and Clank or Psychonauts or that that type of game. You don't really mod those games, uh, even if basically you can consider anything is moddable, but uh, we won't uh, support that. So if there is some community things, some hacks, and if you manage to replace Milo and the Tinykin with something else, go ahead. It will be really, really fun, and maybe we will share it. But as developers, we, we won't uh, dive into the, the modding uh, uh, world so i so, sorry if we missed uh questions i'm i'm doing some last uh, checking of the of the chat i think there is uh, some questions that we've missed uh <laughs> maybe one last question did you guys do anything special yesterday? Yes, uh, actually we had champagne. Uh, I don't know if we can talk about champagne on, on YouTube, but anyway, <laughs> uh, when we pressed that uh, publish button on Steam, it was such a great moment. Uh, and uh, yeah, we celebrated uh, with the team. Uh, uh, yeah. the, the... All the day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, when we arrived at the office in, in the morning, we we were dancing in the office. <laughs> it was really, really great. The neighbor was were quite, uh, uh, I would say, uh, worried about us. They thought they were, <laughs> we were crazy. But uh, yeah, it, it, was a, it was a big day. Uh, so we celebrated a lot. That's what we did uh, today. And we answered a couple of messages as well. So I th I think it's time to close this live. So thanks a lot, guys, to be here, and uh, thanks for your questions and your kind comments, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's amazing to see your your comments on social media, Discord, and so on. And keep keep being so nice and and supportive. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have the chance to have a very very positive and un encouraging community with uh, Tinykin so far. So keep on being you and uh, we will keep on making awesome games <laughs> thanks a lot everyone bye bye bye